Republican presidential candidates and those who are likely to join them in the race tried to win support from social conservatives in Iowa last night. A string of GOP notables spoke to about 1,000 evangelicals at the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition. The speakers depicted Christian values as under assault in America on a number of issues, ranging from abortion to traditional marriages to religious liberty. And naturally, there was plenty of criticism of President Obama and Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Also in the audience in Iowa last night was KSNT News' political analyst Bob Beatty, who will be covering the presidential race for KSNT all the way through Election Day. Bob joins us in the studio now right next to me. So, Bob, tell me about these nine candidates and why, why in Iowa? Why were we there? Well, this is a really full field for the Republicans this time around. And the nine candidates uh, there in Iowa last night included Marco Rubio, Rand Paul, Rick Perry, Bobby Jindal, Carly Fiorina, Rick Santorum, Mike Huckabee, Ted Cruz, and Scott Walker. And this group, the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition, has become more and more important and I think will be very important in this election cycle because, as you mentioned, it's social conservatives and they're very important in the Iowa caucus and they helped Rick Santorum win last time and Mike Huckabee win eight years ago. Now tell me about some of the common themes that these candidates had. Well, you know, first of all, it's very important, the religious faith. Several candidates talked about uh, their religious faith. faith for example, uh, Scott Walker brought a devotional called uh, Jesus Calling with him to his speech and read from it. Bobby Jindal, the governor of Lu Louisiana, started his speech saying, our God is an awesome God. So that was really an important point. Also, again, uh, a lot of these candidates argued that there's an attack on religious liberty. Ted Cruz said, quote, there is a liberal fascism that goes after Christians who follow the Bible. And he also said, quote, the left spews hatred against Christians. So very strong words on that, uh, that front in terms of religion. Now, who seemed to stand out at this crowded event? Who was the one that you thought, I think they may have a shot at this? Well, there was a, a few candidates who uh, have been around the block. They were there last time, Mike Huckabee, uh, Rick Perry, uh, Rick Santorum. So I was especially interested in some of the newer candidates that I haven't gotten a chance to see before. And, and of those newer candidates, Bobby Jindal, as I mentioned, the governor of Louisiana, seemed to uh, connect with the crowd in a way that he hasn't before. He had a reputation of being sort of dull. Not the case uh, last night. Ted Cruz, very polished, very conservative, and, and a lot of members of the crowd seem to really like him. Scott Walker is getting more and more popular. He's the, the governor of Wisconsin, and he was able to list all his accomplishments in the state of Wisconsin. And a lot of uh, people in the crowd admired him for the economic successes in Wisconsin. So those three seem to do especially well. Was there anyone there who was not present that kind of yeah. surprised you? And notable in his absence is, uh, was Jeb Bush, uh, who's a major candidate uh, for the Republican nomination. Now, in all my years of studying the Iowa caucus, this group seems to be the most conservative. So Bush is seen to be a little more moderate than most of these candidates. And Bush said he had a conflict, but maybe this, this crowd is just not his crowd and he decided not to go for it. So what's really going to be interesting is, is there room for a moderate in the Iowa caucus this time around? We'll have to see. Another possibility is Chris Christie. He wasn't there either. So the moderates were missing. Uh, in, in, this, uh, in this gathering last night. Mm -hmm. Well, as always, thank you for being here, Bob. I guess the one thing we're all kind of waiting to see is if Donald Trump is going to put his bid in. Well, people are laughing, but the Trump people who were at the event manning a table for Donald Trump said they really think he's going to run, so stay tuned for a possible Donald Trump announcement. Yeah, well, he always goes back and forth every, every time, it seems like. It would be interesting to see if just once he, he, he finally did it. You're right. He claims he's m much more seriously looking at the race this time around. All right. Well, thanks, Bob. Sure.